Rain helping the flowers that are now in full bloom. And we have the Weekend Gardener here with some tips for you this morning on how to attract butterflies. Hello, gardening friends. Welcome to the Weekend Gardener. You know, you could put a few plants in your yard to get butterflies. There's a lot of color that you can put in. And, um, you know, you just intermix them with your other flowers out there. It could be really nice. One of the things that you do need in the yard, though, is a little bit of water for them. If you want them to stay around, you'll need a little bit of water. But um, there's many beautiful plants out here. Some of them are nectar plants. Some of them are host plants. And some of them are both. So the host plant will be uh, eaten uh, by the um, larva when the butterfly lays its eggs on there. And the host plants are sometimes perennials and uh, sometimes annuals. The zinnias are one of the examples of the annuals. It'll look really nice in your yard, especially when you put large clusters of them out there. I like the groupings, and um, then it's really beautiful. And so you'll see the butterflies all over these guys, too. So um, it's really nice to have some color out there. And um, the yarrow, this is a paprika colored one. The yarrow is a nectar plant, so um, that would be a nice one. There are different types of lantanas, and everybody prefers and suggests the native lantana. But there are others um, that will bloom and bloom and bloom. The native stops once it sets seed, so you need to come out there and take the seed heads off, and then uh, it'll continue to bloom. But if you let the seed stay on there, then it'll stop blooming. So um, maybe you want one of the lower-growing lantanas. They'll be really nice. You know, one of the big ones in the yard is the budlia. The budlia has these big, spiky flowers. They come in an assortment of colors. White is a good example of one of them, but there are blues and other colors that go into the yard. And um, once again, this is a nectar plant, so it's going to be a source of uh, nutrients for the uh, butterflies. Um, here's one that's a very, very important one right here. And and uh, this is a nectar and a host plant. And the swallowtails just love this, but many butterflies will come to it. And it's one of the milkweeds. The milkweeds, even if you didn't put some of these other ones in here, the milkweed would be a very important one for the monarchs going north and when they're on their way home. And speaking of monarchs on their way home, well, the eupatoriums or the mist flowers are gorgeous. Now, this is a plant that will just pop into bloom in the fall when the monarchs are coming through. And it's a large plant. You know, give this one some space. The different ones have different space needs, and you might uh, take a good look at that. But this guy, if you want to see monarchs covering the plant entirely this fall, and we do need to support our monarchs. They had some problems down in their uh, Mexican range with the uh, rain this last year. We need to help them out. And so we'll put some of these guys out there, too. So there's a lot of color from annuals to perennials to natives that can go into your landscape and you can do it simply with just a few plants and have a beautiful butterfly garden also. For the Weekend Gardener, I'm John Dromgoul. I'll see you next time.